you're about to see how each prospect fits in with their new squad, what each of the 14 teams in the lottery can expect from their young gun, and also we'll look at the Golden State Warriors draft pick given they're coming off a title. You'll find out the two clear winners from draft day, and stay tuned to see my personal favorite player taken in 2022's NBA draft lottery. Right before that, only 13.8% of you watching right now are subscribed, so please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a single upload. Raising his draft stock at the last minute, Orlando GM John Hammond picking the Duke Blue Devil Paolo Benchero was shocking, but still an outstanding selection. The Magic needed both star power and a guy to set their foundation. Paolo fills both of those gaps as his vocal leadership seems well beyond his years. In terms of his game, Coach K's prodigy is a lethal 6 foot 10, 250 pound wing whose strength to body off defenders allows him to create his own shot prolifically from either the perimeter or the post. The Seattle native isn't only well built, he's got a guard esque handle off the bounce, the footwork of an NBA veteran, and he can get it done at all three levels, specifically with solid mid range consistency. He's going to improve as a playmaker and spot-up shooter. He's already a leading voice for the locker room. A-plus pick for Orlando to open the draft. The OKC Thunder may have just hit their next home run, as Chet Holmgren joins a few of the better players of this generation in Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook as another one of GM Sam Presti's draft selections. Chet's something no one's ever seen before in the NBA, a 7-foot, 195-pound center with shooting guard-esque handles off the dribble and blinding speed in the open court that also resemble a player in the backcourt. What I love about Holmgren is the kid doesn't seem to get in his head too much when he's playing, he plays off instincts and has the post skill of a young Dirk Nowitzki. Chet's a bit of a raw prospect, but the upside's off the charts and I wouldn't be surprised if the Gonzaga Bulldog ends up developing into the best player of 2022's draft class. He went viral on YouTube in a scrimmage against Stephen Curry in August of 2019, and now he'll play the chef three or four times in the 2022-23 season as a conference rival. The Thunder got their big man of the future next to Shea Gilgis Alexander and Josh Giddy. The Houston Rockets took Jabari Smith Jr., who at the 4-5 spot is a natural-born shooter who most importantly has the ability to shoot over the top of anyone closing out on him with his 7-foot-1 wingspan. Smith made an incredible 42% of his 5.5 three-point attempts in his lone year in the SEC Conference at Auburn, and the stretch big drained 45 of his 53-point shots in an NBA workout. Jabari has a high IQ as he's constantly filling out the lane in transition properly, and with his long strides and big body, that makes the Auburn Tiger a different animal to try and stop. The man's 6'10", 250 pounds. The Rockets are still in the early stages of their rebuild, but have pick swaps with every single Brooklyn Nets draft pick for the next 5 plus years, so with Jalen Green and Jabari leading the way, the Rockets have a bright future. Like Paolo Banchero of the Magic, the versatile sophomore out of Arizona in Keegan Murray also shot up the pre-draft rankings on draft day, and it was pretty surprising that Sacramento's front office passed on Jaden Ivey, but I understand their perspective, as the confident 21-year-old out of Iowa in Murray is a prolific bucket getter who averaged a hefty 23 points per game and is potentially the most NBA-ready prospect of anyone in this draft. Keegan Murray provides a mature leader who can set the example by coming in right away and being a competent weapon next to De'Aaron Fox and DeMontis Sabonis. I see the explosive wing player in Jaden Ivey, who's shown flashes of John Morant with his athleticism, thriving under coach Dwayne Casey. Ivey has a great motor, he can jump out of the gym, and the defensive upside is off the charts, as while he's only 6'4", Jaden's wingspan stretches out over 5 inches further than that at 6'9 and a half. That helps his ability to cover ground and mix that with his foot speed, and Detroit's not only getting a great creator, but they're getting potentially a top two-way player at some point. Growing up in Montreal, Canada, Benedict Matherin played hockey and football growing up, but his brother Dominique encouraged him to play basketball. Tragically, Dominique passed away, but we're thanking him in heaven for telling Benedict to play ball, considering how mind-boggling this kid is to watch between the lines. With an unguardable mix of speed, vertical jump, and contested three-point shooting ability, 
Matherin's true shooting percentage at Arizona was 57%, and he made nearly 40% of his attempts from deep range. Eggs Benedict can both smoothly put it on the deck and also pull up from deep range off the bounce, and he reminds me a lot of Jalen Brown. Going to the rebuilding Pacers to play with Tyrese Halliburton is the perfect fit for Matherin, as going to Indianapolis is going to allow him to develop his game. Making it back-to-back -back Canadians taken in 2022's draft, Shaden Sharp has unlimited upside, considering he didn't play a single game in the NCAA at Kentucky, yet was still the seventh overall selection for the Portland Trailblazers. At 6'6", with a 6'11 wingspan, Sharp's smooth shot-creating repertoire has been compared to a hybrid of Paul George and CJ McCollum. But in Rip City, don't be surprised if the win-now Blazers decide to trade Sharp before the season kicks off. Assuming he stays, though, Dame's going to expect him to produce now, so we'll see if the man of mystery is ready to get it done at the highest level right off the bat. The G League Ignite product in Australian and Dyson Daniels isn't the best three-point shooter, so the Pelicans taking him at number eight was a bit surprising, but the second Aussie in as many years to be a lottery pick gives coach Willie Green and the Pelicans some much-needed defense. Dyson shot just 25% on four three-point attempts per game with the Ignite this past season, but he ended up leading the team in assists and steals. Evidently, Dyson has exceptional anticipation at reading the passing lanes. He can guard positions one through four as he held his match up to 37% from the field. The Pelicans are getting a stable wing defender, which is exactly what they needed. Daniels also gives them some playmaking offensively with the ability to go coast to coast for buckets after grabbing the board. Problem is, how many minutes are going to be available for him in the Big Easy with the Pels already having McCollum, Ingram, Williamson, Herb Jones, and Trey Murphy all slotted in on the wing? Still, Daniels was the right guy to select. You have to take the best player available. I love what David Griffin is doing with the Pelicans, so fans in New Orleans should be excited about their future. Next to the biggest breakout player in 2021-22, in the underrated DeJounte Murray, the Dennis Rodman-esque Jeremy Sohan is going to be the ideal pick-and-roll partner, lob catcher, and all-around complimentary piece for the San Antonio Spurs. Sohan also gives coach Greg Popovich some much-needed intensity and toughness for this young group, as the Polish phenom is all about hustle and defense, as the 6'9 wing defensively held his match up to 20% shooting from the field. On that end of the court specifically, you could say that Jeremy's the most versatile big man in this draft class. I love the pick for San Antonio. Twisting around to the nation's capital, Johnny Davis was one of my favorite prospects entering this draft, so the rebuilding Pacers getting him with the 10th overall pick was a cop for fans in DC. His toughness and three-level scoring, with specifically a smooth mid-range touch, sort of resembles Devin Booker. Davis showed up under the brightest lights at Wisconsin, leading them into the second round of the NCAA tournament, so the Wizards were one of the winners of this draft lottery, in my opinion, for snagging him. Spike Lee and Stephen A. Smith's prayers went unanswered as the Knicks traded their pick along with Kemba Walker to Detroit, OKC swapped picks with the Pistons, and the Frenchman perimeter threat Usman Zhang ended up with the Thunder. Jang's a silky smooth forward whose length next to Trent Holmgren will provide problems for attackers, as Usman's got a 7'1 wingspan with a fundamentally sound 3-point shot and great playmaking instincts. The recently turned 19-year-old could develop into one of the NBA's better point forwards, marking themselves as the clear winner of the day next to the Detroit Pistons. The third OKC draft pick of the lottery for Sam Presti was used on the product of Santa Clara in Jalen Williams. Remarkably, at only 6'5", Jalen has a 7'2 wingspan, yet is a fluid ball handler who can get his own with ease. Man averaged over 18 points in his third college campaign. Overall, Williams is a lengthy, calm, and composed small forward who turned a corner in his development as a junior, so it seems Oklahoma City took another young stud with the 12th overall pick. Along with stealing Jade and Ivy, the Detroit Pistons also stole one of the class's best big man prospects in Jalen Duran. Duran's a physical specimen with a 7'5 wingspan, 250 pound frame, mixed with a springy standing and vertical jumping ability. 
posting averages of 12 points, 8 boards, and 2 blocks in 25.3 minutes per game at Memphis, the 18-year-old was the backbone behind one of the best defensive teams in the country, earning all ACC First Team and Rookie of the Year honors. Duran averaged 1.44 points per shot around the basket, which was in the 93rd percentile. With his physical tools, Duran's a naturally impactful defender. So Detroit basketball has yet another young phenom with this kid. What a night if you're a Pistons fan. Rounding up the top 14, there was the 22-year-old four-year product out of Kansas in OK Abaji going to the Cleveland Cavaliers to pair with Darius Garland and Colin Sexton. Adding some much-needed wing depth to the Cavs, Obaji's got a very strong history of development. Just look at OK's annual jump from his freshman through to his senior year, which go to show you how committed he is to developing. Over his four years as a Jayhawk, OK went from a primary off-ball threat, morphing into a player who could create his own off the dribble. Great snag for Cavs GM Kobe Altman. Meanwhile, for the Golden State Warriors down at pick number 28, the lucky number where they picked Jordan Poole in 2019, the reigning champs selected Patrick Baldwin Jr., who adds yet another up-and-coming talent to the Warriors' array of young firepower. Baldwin's first-round draft stock was related to his high school production. PBJ was the top 10 recruit in his 2021 class, who showed off his top-notch perimeter shooting ability for his 6'10 height and 7'2 reach. Regardless of his poor efficiency in the NCAA, Baldwin has a beautiful release which grew on NBA scouts who believed that stroke would translate to the association. An ankle injury limited Patrick to 11 college games for Milwaukee, so there's not too much tape on him, but based off the fact that he's a below average athlete, that just tells you how much Baldwin's had to rely on his soft touch and naturally gifted shooting considering he was still a first round pick in spite of that. Solid pick for Bob Myers. My personal favorite prospect in the top 14 is Benedict Matherin and has been for a while. Indiana definitely got a gem because Ben's poise and flair on and off the court is going to be special in the NBA. Look for Matherin to have a rookie of the year type season for the Pacers. But I want to know in your opinion, who's your favorite prospect? Best answer gets next video shout out. Top 5 commenters by June 21st receive free NBA merchandise of their choosing. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Two shout outs from my two previous uploads to Swoo and Patrick Coley. Appreciate every answer. Deflo signing off.